When concrete is subjected to tensile load, cracks usually occur. The cracks can be due to direct tensions, flexure, combined shear, flexure in beams web, torsions and others. The behavior of the member often change abruptly when tensile cracks forms. In general, concrete without tensions performs the best. Then, upon occurrence of the first crack, the stiffness of the concrete will be affected and with the existence of the reinforcement, all the tensile stress will be taken by the tension reinforcement. In the case that there is no reinforcement in the concrete, the concrete member usually fails. You know that concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension. And we need to determine the tension properties of the concrete so that in the design, we ensure that the tensile capacity is not exceeded. These are the ways to measure the tensile strength of the concrete such as the direct tensile test. Due to the difficulty to do direct tensile test on the concrete, it is seldom applied for the concrete. The concrete is more commonly tested with modulus of rupture test, which is also known as the flexural test, and also the split cylinder test. These are some symbols for the tensile strength. FCT represents the highest tensile stress, while FCTFL represents the flexural tensile strength or the modulus of rupture obtained from standard flexural tests on plain concrete prisms. Normally, FCT is smaller than FCTFL. In simpler terms, the most accurate way to determine the tensile strength of the concrete is direct tensile test. However, it is difficult to conduct direct tensile tests for the concrete. Therefore, it is seldom being applied. With that, it is more commonly tested in an indirect manner such as the flexural test and splitting cylinder test. Based on the result obtained from this test, through some calculations and conversions, we are able to predict the tensile stress of the concrete.